we are into our pride, and when a leader is in pride, some of the things that happen is you start to take all the credit, you start to be the only voice on any subject, you start to, to look when there's something good happens, you look in the mirror. When something bad happens, you look out the window to find somebody to blame. We have that kind of a situation, and, and we could go through any aspect of the, of the newspaper right now and say, can you find the pride factor in international relationships, in negotiations, in a failure to have ability to admit things when we have to? Pride, one kind of an ego issue. The other side of the model, or the other side of this diagram, is another kind of ego issue. It's fear. Fear. Some people don't really start to understand fear as an ego issue first, but it is. And we're not talking about wholesome dread, because it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But as Proverbs says, the fear of man is a trap. We've taken the horizontal fear, which is wholesome, what does God think? Do I want to displease him? And we spread it to the, to the right and to the left so that we run around being afraid of everyone. We fear everyone. But fear, as it drives a leader, now see if there's some of these fears. I'm talking about toxic fear. You all know what it is, and you know what it happens in an organization that becomes gripped with fear. Name your brand. I'll name a few. Fear of failure. Fear of rejection, fear of loss of power, fear of poverty, fear of loss of position, fear of obsolescence, fear of not mattering, fear of not making a difference. Sometimes it's fear of success. And when you start to grip that, when you be gripped by that, you'll do anything to protect yourself. my house and knocked on my door and then literally fell at my door and he bled out in front of us but he managed to tell me who had done this thing to him. When he died a few hours later I tracked down the guy who actually murdered my brother and I vowed to him that the next time I see him I would kill him. I had a very one-dimensional um, idea of what it was to be a leader and that was to be in charge. And I'd never ever considered Jesus to be a leader. I knew he was my saviour, I knew he was um, a teacher, I knew that he was my God. I never really considered him to be a leader. One of the first scriptures that really pulled it back to me was in Matthew 20, 28 um, and that was, the Son of Man didn't come to earth to be served, but to serve. As I drove past him, the Lord said, stop the car. I want you to speak to him. I said, Lord, I don't know what to say to him. Lord, it is busy. There's traffic all over the place. I don't know where to pull this car over. Stop the car. I want you to speak to him. I said, yes, Lord. 200 meters further up the road, there's a little bus stop that was empty, and I turned in there. So one of the things that I'd learned from the habits of, of, of leaders like Jesus was to hear God's voice. So spending that time in solitude, in time in prayer. And that's what happened to me in the car. Before, I would have probably ignored it. But this time I knew without a shadow of a doubt that I was hearing the voice of the Lord. As he approached the car, I stepped out the car and I called him out by name. So I can only imagine what happened in his mind. 
because the last time he saw me, he had, he had seen me, I had vowed I was going to kill him. And he stopped dead in his tracks. And immediately a peace came over me. And I spoke to him, I said, I'm here in peace. And so I told him, I'm born again Christian. And the Lord has led me to you today. And I'm here to forgive you. Naturally, he was quite taken aback. So I came closer to him and I spoke to him. I said, you know, the impact and the consequences of you murdering my brother were, were vast. They, they, they affected many, many people. But today, I want you to be at peace. I want you to, be, to understand that you are forgiven. I forgive you on behalf of myself. I forgive you on behalf of my family. And I want you to find the peace that you need.